Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this video series, we started discussing Comvault schedule policies. In our previous video, we discussed system created schedule, and also started creating a file system backup schedule. In this video, we will continue discussing the other tabs, and options. Please, like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos. And, you can follow us on Instagram. Click Advanced. Advanced Backup Options window. Data tab. Please note, depending upon the version of the operating system on the client, and the selected backup type, some of the following may not be available. Skip catalog phase for IntelliSnap operations. This option applies to IntelliSnap, for Windows file system. Select this option, to skip the indexing of snapshot data. When selected, browse and restore operations are performed using the snapshots. Follow mount points. Indicates, whether the data in the mount point is included in the backup. Please note, that this option does not apply to block level backups. Optimize for Novell, SMS based fast backup. This option is for archive operations. When selected, a full backup job will utilize Novell's storage management services to query the configured sub client content for the data to be backed, rather than generating a collect file during the scan phase. Start backup copy job, based on storage policy rules. Select this option, to skip the backup copy operation, if any snapshots exist before the inline backup copy. This option is selected by default. Start the backup copy job with the current job. Select this option, to ignore previous snapshot jobs, which are to be copied and run the backup for the current snapshot job. Create backup copy immediately. As the note says, the creation of a backup copy depends on the storage policy, snapshot configuration. Select this option, to create an inline backup copy, to start the movement of the snapshot to media, immediately after the completion of the IntelliSnap backup job. Enable Granular Recovery. Select this option, to enable granular recovery for backup copy. This option is deprecated for virtual server agent backups. Startup tab. Use default priority. The default job priority is 166. Use the change priority option, to modify the priority of a job between 0 which is the highest priority, and 999, being the lowest priority. Startup in suspended state, starts the job in a suspended state. This job cannot run, until the job is manually resumed in the job controller. Job stagger time. If a schedule on a schedule policy starts multiple jobs, you can configure the number of seconds. Each job waits before it runs. The maximum stagger time allowed is 10 seconds. Job Retry tab. Enable total running time. You can set the maximum time, in hours and minutes, that the job is allowed to run, post which it will be in a pending, or queued state. You can kill the job by enabling the option. Kill running job when the total running time expires. Number of resubmits on job failure, is the number of times, the job manager can automatically resubmit a failed backup job. When the job fails, the job manager resubmits the job, with a new job ID. When the resubmit attempts exceed the specified number, and if the job still fails, the job manager will stop resubmitting the job automatically. Enable number of retries. If for some reason, 
the job goes pending, then you can set the number of retries, post which the job will be marked as failed. Media tab. Start new media option, starts the backup, or archive operation on a new media. If the option is not selected, the operation automatically uses the current active media, or volume. Mark media full on success, marks media full, two minutes after the completion of the backup, or archive operation. If any jobs are initiated within the two minutes, they are allowed to write to the media. If the job was associated with the prior media, new media such as a new tape, will be used for subsequent jobs. Allow other schedules to use media set, is selected by default. This option allows jobs that are part of a schedule policy or schedule, using a specific storage policy to start a new media, and also prevent other jobs from writing to the set of media. It is available only, when the start new media, and mark media full options are enabled. Wait for inline backup resources. If you are performing a backup or archive operation on a sub-client with a storage policy, that has the inline copy option enabled, then this option specifies, that the operation should wait, until resources are available for both the backup or archive operation, and the inline copy. This option is applicable, only if an inline copy is created on the storage policy that is being used for this backup operation. If not selected, the backup will create the primary copy, even if there are not enough resources to create the inline copy. Reserve resources before scan. Normally, media is reserved for a job before the operation phase, like backup or archive, but this option will reserve the media before the scan phase. This reserves the media earlier because, the scan phase precedes the operation phase. Skip Metafile Creation If selected, a metafile of the data, on the specified volume will not be created, as part of the backup, saving some time. The data can only be restored using volume level restore, as the metafile is required for file level restore. If the option is not enabled, a metafile will be created, and the data can be restored using either file level restore, or volume level restore. Release resources during metadata collection. For a VM client computer, metadata is needed for file level recovery. Metadata collection might take a while to complete, so enable this option to release the media resources during the collect operation. You can override job retention from here. Storage policy default, is the default option, to apply the retention rules of the associated storage policy. Infinite is to retain this job indefinitely. Number of days, is to prune the jobs after the number of days specified. You can enforce the retention applicable on jobs, that are on either primary, or copies, or select copies. Data Path tab. Use Media Agent. From here you can select the name of any other Media Agent, that will be used to perform the backup operation. The other Media Agent, should be part of Data Paths on the storage policy. Use Library. If you wish to back up to a specific library, select the name of the library from the list, that will be used to perform the backup operation. Use drive pool, if you wish to back up using a specific drive pool. Select the name of the drive pool from the list, that will be used to perform the backup operation. Use drive, when you wish to back up using a specific drive from the selected drive pool. Select the name of the drive from the list, that will be used to perform the backup operation. Use spare group, to select any spare media group from this list, to run the backup.
Volt Tracking tab. Select Volt Tracking options for exporting and tracking media. Export media after job finishes. When selected, the media used by the backup operation and whose status meets the selected media status criteria are exported and tracked by the Volt Tracker feature. Exclude media not copied. When selected, media with jobs that have not been copied onto the secondary copies are not exported. Media status to select. All media regardless of status. Media whose status is marked as full. Media whose status is marked as active. Media whose status is marked as bad. Override protected media whose status is marked as read only. You can select an export location from the list of stationary locations which are already created and available under storage resources. Track transit. When selected, transit information must be tracked. You can select a transit location from the list of transit locations. Use virtual mail slots. When selected, exported media is moved to the virtual mail slots within the library. The virtual mail slots are defined in the media tab of the library properties. Filter media by retention specifies that media are exported based on whether the media have extended retention jobs or not. The retention specified at the storage policy copy level are honored. The retention specified at the job level by the user, that is manual retention, are not honored. Media with extended retention jobs, specifies the media with at least one extended retention job, are exported. Media with no extended retention jobs, specifies the media with no extended retention jobs are exported. As the content to cover is large, we will be splitting the video into two parts. We will end this video here. In our next video, we will continue discussing the other options and complete the file system backup schedule creation. Please hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to our channel if not already done so. Thank you. Do subscribe for more videos.